Hi there, I've just had an email through from uh, one of the guys in the um, rent a relationship team and he's asked me to make a video. Uh, he's having a bit of a hard time convincing some landlords to do something he thinks is a pretty good idea. So um, uh, it's not the normal kind of video. If you are one of our landlords, prick your ears up. If you're not, um, well, it's useful information. This kind of stuff's out there. And if you want to be one of our landlords, go to the description, book on a discovery call and um, yeah, come and meet us. But the specific thing that we're talking about is rent and legal guarantee insurance. And um, it's something we've always done. Um, you know, I, I, in the past I've had it, sometimes I do, sometimes I don't. Depends on the tenancy sometimes. Depends on what I see from, uh, from other, you know, with with our landlords not, not me particularly as, as we've got landlord with one or two houses or 10 houses or 50 their mind changes on it you know you've got one or two houses you you put rent and legal on it's it's a good idea i'll explain what it is in a minute um and when you've got maybe 20 or 30 you see that actually with a well-managed portfolio you might not need to although with one or two tenancies you think mm, maybe uh, maybe if you're going through the referencing and you've got something i'll put it on that anyway the reason that um sean's asked me to send this email is because the situation the UK finds itself in now, rent and legal insurance has been on and off um, and it's just come back on. And when you look through what it's offering right now in the context of the COVID and all those kind of things, um, your furlough, all that kind of stuff, um, I think it's pretty stunning actually. And Sean's saying, often this is a bit of a sales pitch, you know. Um, letting agents will send an email out we're trying to sell this and make no apologies whatsoever we make three or four quid on it you know so it, it you know it's, it's a business thing that we, we we make money on it wouldn't make any apologies for that obviously we sell it and i think something gets lost when we're trying to sell something oh yeah yeah um but this is actually bloody good and he just said look i'm, I'm struggling to convince landlords and i really think that um it, it's going to be helping I started to read through this stuff and make some bullet points and actually they've done it for me. So what I'm going to do is I'll read a few of these bits out and you think it just makes sense. Um, in the description, if you know Sean, if you deal with him already, email him directly. If you don't, I'll put the uh, support email in so you can send it out and somebody else will pick it up and it will get to Sean or whoever else is. You know, we, we wrote to the time so that you get the best service. Um, but if you go to that, that um, um, email address in the link there send an email through and somebody will get back in touch with you if you're one of our landlords of course you've got to be one of our landlords already to get this on and then there'll be another link behind it if you think oh i've never heard of the guy on youtube found him he seems to be talking sense uh, come and meet us that's a, that's a different thing but this is specifically for our landlords already so yeah what's the current situation we find ourselves in i'm reading directly from a leaflet that sean can send you as well all right so um, backlogging possession hearings we know that uh, tenants who fail to pay rent can't be evicted true it's hard to evict and actually yeah, yeah yes you can of course but it's hard so yeah fair enough um 9.4 million on furlough the numbers changing all the time not sure how how in date this will be by the time you see it but there's plenty of people on furlough uh bank of england warned the uk is facing the worst financial recession for 300 years yeah um now here's the thing job losses are forecast to be at a record high with the worst expected to be once the furlough scheme ends. Clearly, we haven't seen the beginning of the fallout. Everybody's been sort of in this lockdown situation. And my fear is we're sleepwalking to a situation. Our arrears rate is, it, it, it stays very steady. We, we have a naturally just under 1% arrears rate. During COVID, it jumped up to just under 2%. I think that's a pretty stunning result ourselves. Uh, we're, we're back down below 1% now. So, you know, it seems like there's no real problem at the moment. You know, things in the news about rent being paid and all those things, but furlough hasn't stopped. I don't know, honestly. I've got no idea whether exactly what, but it seems like it could happen. And I guess what we're doing here is there's an insurance that could fix it, you know. Um, what are the benefits? 100% uh, of rent protected. Full legal costs paid. Working on behalf of several bullet points for legal, I won't go through them all. Basically, they do all the work and they pay for all the work. Attending in court. The rent's paid even if the tenant pays to, uh, fails to do so. And the average loss rent and legal fees to evict a tenant totals over £9,000. Never does for us, I'll be honest. Um, but, uh, you know, I, I guess if you did everything wrong, I've seen I've seen nine grand and more. Um, you know, we can generally speaking, if we have to evict somebody, get somebody out quicker and cheaper than that. It's not a nice process, but, uh, you know, we don't, don't want to sort of dwell on it. But, you know, it happens. Um, the big thing for me is, uh, I'll, I'll carry on. Um, full rental protection, 
for four up to four tenants rent paid 15 months or until vacant possession whichever is gained is sooner these are some of the things that were taken off during covid and they've come back no excess pay month pay monthly it, 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 it's 25 pounds a month that, that, that's the cost of it uh, i'll tell you that now i don't i don't think no it doesn't it doesn't it doesn't vary it's just 25 pounds a month um anyway th there you are for, for me this just seems like it might be sensible right now um who knows what happens when we drop off the end of furlough i think this might be a sensible precaution if you want it it's not available to every tenancy you have to go through a check you have to say yes i want this then they go check to see if you're eligible and if you're eligible they, they put it on i guess there's something in that process as well you know um however i'm doing it on some of mine you know um, if we've had any sort of sniff of them um not being able to pay they're on furlough when furlough ends i think there's a lot of people that aren't going back to work so you know fingers crossed i don't need to rely on that or on the ones that i think i might that are the ones that i'm putting it on but i'm putting it on anyway and um yeah it'll be a nice peace of mind so sean just asked me to make that email for, that video for for uh, for you obviously it's out on youtube so anybody can see it if you want to know more about a business go to the description find out about that but really this video is for existing landlords email sean or click on the support email address and say just just email back saying yes please i'd like like to look into rent and legal if you receive this video via an email you can just reply to that as well and it'll get forwarded over either or it's all, it's all good right hopefully that's been useful to some people hopefully you know, it might hopefully we don't need it but it might just be the thing that saves you well according to them nine grand uh, but at least you know a fair, a fair 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 bit of cash and hassle as well hassle you don't need so there you go bye for now